First of all, like I said, thank you guys so much for coming out tonight. Y'all made my dreams come true. I mean, thank you so much. Thank you so much. I like to tell this story because I feel like even if there's a lot of kids in here today, a lot of people feel like to make it, you have to be from some certain family, you know what I mean? And you can't just do it on your own. But I'm proof. I gotta tell y'all my story right now. So growing up for me, it was weird. I grew up in Georgia. I don't know how it is in Denver. But uh, I was born in 93 and it was so bad at the time. 93, baby, I guess. It was so bad at me for the time that my own family did accept that I was biracial. So I had nowhere to go as an infant. My mom was kicked out of the house. She was still in high school. She was 18 years old. Nowhere to go. We had to live in a car for a little while. Not only that, once I finally was accepted, um, we didn't have any money. We, we didn't, I didn't come from a family with money. You know, I, I, I wore hand-me-down clothes. My pants were always too small. My shoes always had holes in them. My shirts never fit right. And I just never, I never was the kid that would fit in. But what made me stand out was I was athletic. I got to play sports. I was really good at sports. So that's how I kind of made friends. But I also went through child abuse. Uh, my stepdad, which was my little brother's dad, we got the different dads, same moms. I remember one day, you ever have those dreams where you wet the, where you, where you wet the bed? Where you're going to the bathroom, but you're asleep still? You know what I mean? Yeah, right? I had that one, and I remember my mom was at work. My stepdad came in to wake me up, and I had that dream. I remember he picked me up about like this far over his head and just threw me across the room because he was mad at me for using the bathroom in the bed. And so the next day I had bruises all over my body, but my Nana was a detective and a sheriff. And so she saw what happened and she had him locked up three weeks later. this story just because I know there's all different people in here and y'all have dreams and I just want y'all to know y'all can accomplish those. This next song is called Learning. Baby. Let's get there. 